Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. As you guys are watching this video, it is 2019. I wanted my first video of 2019 to be productivity related to get you guys motivated and organized and ready to achieve your New Year's resolutions and to just get you guys started on the right foot for the new year. This video is also a collab with Danielle, Kenzie. They all posted videos that are also kind of centered around the productivity theme. We just wanted to get you guys ready for the new year. So after you finish watching this video, be sure to check out all of their videos. I'll have their channels and their videos and everything linked down below. If you guys enjoy my videos, then you'll definitely love their channels. So I thought for today I would do kind of a plan with me video. I thought this would be a good video to post for the new year because it's a fresh start and I have a brand new planner to fill out. So that's very exciting. So I wanted to show you guys how I fill out my planner and also just give you guys some tips and tricks that I have learned to kind of help with time management and just staying organized and yeah let's just get right into it okay so my first tip is very obvious but it's the biggest one and that is to get a planner this is my new planner for 2019 it is a day designer this is my first year having a day designer I've heard really great things about it and I'm very excited honestly there's no better feeling than getting a new planner it's just the best thing ever I personally need to physically write down every single thing that I have to do I'm constantly making to-do lists and I just need to like see my schedule laid out in front of me otherwise I like wouldn't know what to do if you're someone that is able to have like a digital planner like in your phone in Google Calendar and whatever and that works well for you then that's great I personally like to physically write things down like I said whatever works for you but what I wouldn't recommend is just keeping everything in your head I definitely think it's super important to have some kind of physical outlet for you to organize your thoughts and your schedule it just makes it so much easier on yourself to have some kind of planner or calendar or whatever you choose to use to organize your thoughts so when I'm choosing a planner I have two main criteria well actually three kind of because one is that it has to be cute and like aesthetically pleasing obviously but besides that I also need it to have some kind of monthly overview for each month of the year that's pretty standard for any planner I think but just having like that monthly overview for you to kind of plan out your more long-term events and like big dates that you have is super important and then another thing that's really important for me is having a lot of writing space for the day-to-day -day layout pages I'm really excited about this one because every single day has its full own page and there's just like so much room to write so every day has like a general to-do list with a lot of space to write but they also have the like hourly breakdown so this is gonna be really helpful for like time blocking out my days and just scheduling every day to the hour which kind of sounds a little crazy but that's just how I like to stay organized this sounds like a day designer sponsorship but it's not I'm just really excited okay okay so now that we have our brand new fresh clean planner it's time to actually start writing in it another kind of general tip that I have just for like staying organized and productive is to set goals for yourself both short-term and long-term goals and schedule your life according to those goals i'm going to be doing a whole separate video on my new year's resolutions that's coming in a few days after this video is posted but i kind of have mixed feelings about new year's resolutions i do think it's great that like so many people at the start of the new year want to like get their lives together and be productive and be like better versions of themselves but I'm also someone who sets goals all the time, literally throughout the year. I've made several goal setting videos in the past. If you want to check those out, I pretty much do them like before every semester. So whether it's like a new year or a new semester or it's just a random day where you're feeling inspired, I think it's really beneficial to physically write down your goals. I keep a note in my phone um, where I'm constantly just like setting goals for myself. It's nice to have them somewhere where you can refer back to them easily so that when you're planning out 
your year or even your week or your day you're consciously thinking about those goals that you want to achieve and you're scheduling your life according to that obviously we have to do things that like we don't necessarily want to do but in general hopefully that helps you to not waste time on things that aren't like adding value to your life and getting you closer to the goals you want to achieve so the first thing i do when i get a new planner and it's a new year is i go through the months and i write down big dates that i have so obviously this is an ongoing process because i don't right now have my entire 2019 planned out i also like to do this at the beginning of every month or i usually do it at the end of the month for the upcoming month if that makes sense where i just like write out all of my important dates tuesday january 22nd is the start of my spring semester so i have like the day that my classes start obviously that's important to know but i pretty much use the monthly overview to write down big dates like when my classes start any travel plans that i have coming up and then once my professors post the syllabus for each class i go through the entire syllabus and write in this monthly overview page all of the important dates that i have for the semester like midterm and final exam days project due dates presentation dates anything like that any dates that are in the syllabus i write in this monthly overview page so obviously i can't go through that now because my professors haven't posted that for the semester yet but that's definitely how i use this monthly overview page i'm also writing on the 10th that i have a hair appointment i do also use the calendar in my phone but i only really use that for my work schedule and for like appointment dates like hair appointment eyelash appointment doctor's appointment that kind of thing because it's just easy for me to put it in my phone when i'm like scheduling it but i also write everything down so that way i have it in both places so far that's all i have in january i don't really think i have anything else to write because i'm not traveling anywhere and i haven't gotten my syllabus for my classes yet so so far that's all we have also my other tip that's a big one for planning is using colors and color coding different things for different areas of your life if that makes sense so i'm going to use this page it's like the back of the front cover page but i'm going to use this to make a little key for the colors that i have so i literally highlight like everything in my planner and i have different colors for like school for youtube for work based on each color i can see like okay this day i'm posting a new video this day i need to film it just like helps me visually see everything and i think if you are like a visual learner color coding your planner is life-changing okay i'm gonna make lime green my work color so i had yellow as my homework color and then i have orange as projects and exams Okay, so there's my little color key. This is how I plan my life. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I literally spend so much time planning, which is probably time that I could be spent like doing actual things that I need to get done, but I find planning very valuable. Like I said, at the end of every month, I go through and plan out my next month in like the overview thing as much as I can. And then every Sunday night, which tonight is actually a Sunday night, so it's perfect, I plan out my week. And for that, I do more like general things so my work schedule for the week when i'm filming videos when i'm editing when i'm posting videos for that week any like appointments that i have any errands that i need to run just like general things that i need to get done for that week and then every single morning i plan out my day for that day some people prefer to do this like the night before i like to do it the morning of and i literally go to that day and plan out by the hour what I'm doing for that day so that I can make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done. The first thing I always do is put in my work schedule because that's the one thing that I have that's like set. I know that I have to be at work for these hours and I can't be doing anything else during those hours, but I'm just gonna put in all the times that I have work. And then my color for work is green. So I'm gonna go in and highlight all of my work with the green this section of my day it's green that means i'm working and i can't be doing anything else and that's why the color coding thing is key because it just helps me visually see like 
what percentage of my day is spent doing what. The next thing I would do is plan out YouTube. Also, another thing that I do at the end of every month, there's a note section and I use my note section to keep a running list of video ideas for the month. First, I'm gonna write what days I wanna post videos and then I'm gonna plan based on that when I need to film and edit them. So I already have written in here for January 1st that I'm gonna be posting this video. And then I think the next day on Wednesday, I wanna post a get ready with me because I know tomorrow for New Year's Eve, I'm gonna film a get ready with me and then highlighting it in pink because that's my posting color. And then I think I wanna post my new year's resolution video on friday when you have the color coding it just gets really organized and really pretty to look at i think you guys are getting the idea other things that i like to plan out when i'm planning my week on my sunday night is when i'm going to the gym it's a new year guys i'm gonna start getting fit i sound like every basic girl that's like yeah i'm gonna get fit and then on like january 2nd i'm literally eating chick-fil-a like not at the gym so definitely gonna go wednesday thursday friday we'll see about the weekend so i feel like you guys get the gist of how i kind of set up my planner okay so here's a little overview of what my planner is looking like obviously i am on winter break right now so i don't have all that much going on if you guys want to see more plan with me videos for when the school semester starts definitely let me know because i get real specific and i really like to organize when i do all my homework assignments and studying and just like time blocking all of that kind of stuff so let me know if you like this type of video but my biggest tips for starting off the new year like i said are getting a new planner color coding it getting really specific with it and just like making your planner a big thing this year because trust me just writing things down alone will make you feel so much more productive and organized obviously it's a whole nother thing actually like executing everything and checking off those to-do lists but got to start somewhere so i hope this video gave you guys some tips on how to get organized for the new year make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i have so many video ideas for the new year i'm so excited thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye go go 50 in the house bounce y'all already know what i'm about the flow sounds sick over dre drums nigga i ain't stupid i see that in my dope come quicker whoa